Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to work on the 69 Mustang and we're going to replace the upper and lower control arms. Also the perch which holds the shock and the coil in. So let's get into today's video. So here's the perch right there. There's the part number for it. Here is the lower control arm and there is the part number for that. Here is the upper control arm. Part this right there so that's that and they do not give you nuts for these or lock washers so you'll have to use your original ones and if lock washers are bad you will need to replace them because you don't want to put them on with them cracked and also some of these might have shims in them so you might need to put them back like this side does so we'll have to put those shims back in there I mean it will need to go get in alignment so you never know they might be need to be taken out the other side might need to add some so let's get this thing jacked up we'll pull the tire off we'll get the jack underneath the lower control arm jack it up that way we can pull the shock out and then start pulling this pull assembly apart and get that coil out of there which is never fun but it's got to get done so let me set you guys up we'll do a time lapse and i'll point out anything that is really um, kind of weird, which they're not, they're not that complicated. So let me quit uh, yapping away over here and we'll set the stuff up. So here's my setup right here. So normally it'd be like this. This would be up on the top. I got this from O'Reilly's. I took it apart, slid this piece off. You don't need that. You just need the bottom piece. And if you have a big plate, I mean, it doesn't have to be that thick, but it has to be pretty thick. And you slide it into the top, hook it down as low as you can. That way you can pull the coil up. And then you see me knock the ball joints loose on the spindle that way i can just take them off real quick pull the spindle off and allow that control arm to come down and then you come on the inside next to the headers and unbolt the control arm slide that out and then allow your coil to come down but make sure you have enough room to let your coil out because there'll still be tension on it so just remember that because these things are dangerous i hate doing these things but 
it's got to get done. And on these, there is a long side and a short side on these arms. So you just got to make sure you get it on the right coil. But yeah, you just slide it down in here, down as far as you can go to the very bottom. And then, yeah, that's it. that coils out and it's got to get the lower control arm off just one bolt or one nut you slide the bolt out and that has your adjuster for I don't know if it's your caster or camber I can't remember but yeah that's it All right, so let's reassemble the passenger side. So what we're gonna do is put the 90 degree zert fittings in there. Hopefully these will fit. I haven't checked it yet. But also before you throw these on, you have to grind down a little bit on each corner, mainly the one that faces the front end of the car because it rubs a little bit on the um, strut tower or the shock tower, so it rubs right here, so you're gonna have to grind the control arm down just a little bit, that way there, it can full, fully articulate, you know, and the suspension moves up and down nice and easy and it doesn't bind. So what I'm gonna do is clean this up real quick, get it sprayed black, that way it's all nice and even, looks good. I did get the lower control arm thrown on, super easy, you know, like you guys seen, it's just one bolt slides out and then you have these two that hold up for the front of the, the radius arm. So that's it, and then what we'll do is we'll collapse the spring, get it back in the pocket, have the control arm already in there, and then we'll throw the rotor and spindle back on. That way I can bolt everything together. This side will be completely done. We'll get the shock thrown in, and then this side is completed. And then, we'll, and then um, that'll be it. So let's get into getting this side put together. All right, so now we gotta throw the coil in before we put the control arm on. That way we can bring it up and get it into the pocket. And then we'll slide the control arm in, drop it down, and then bolt the spindle back onto the lower and upper ball joint. Tighten that stuff up, bring the sh uh, jack underneath, and jack this up, that way it gets pressure on the coil, and then we'll be able to slide the, we'll be able to undo this, and then slide the shock back down in there bolted up to the perch and that'll keep everything together from coming out so set you guys up as a time lapse and we will get the coil thrown in there and then throw the control arm on and also before you guys throw the control arm on it'd be a lot easier even though that we did throw some 90s in there it'd be a lot easier to grease it out instead of in the car so let's get into putting this coil on
All right, so we got the coil back in, the shock back on like you guys seen, control arm. Now I just gotta torque the um, ball joints, tighten those up, same with that lower radius arm to the lower control arm, tighten that up. And then also the lower control arm, I need to tighten it up where it mounts to the frame. Other than that, everything is done. I do have to torque the upper control arms also, and then we'll I'll clean up this caliper and throw that on. But yeah, I'll torque this stuff. I hate doing these things. They are definitely sketchy and dangerous. Just got to make sure you take your time. Don't get in a hurry. And uh, it definitely helps. Like you see, my dad helped me. It helps with two people. But if you're by yourself, just take your time and be extremely careful. Because these things, they'll pop out. They hit you in the face. Knock your teeth out. They can kill you. Stuff like that. Um, but yeah, Kitty, she was... She was watching us. Hi, huh, Kitty. Make sure we we're we we're all right. So, but yeah, that's enough of me rambling. Let's finish this thing up. So now what I got to do is throw the sway bar link in here. But I do have some newer polyurethane bushings I gotta go dig out and see if they're gonna work that way everything's kind of new even though this has been replaced it'd be nice if it was all new and fresh like everything else pretty much besides this little radius arm which we might end up replacing the bushing here that way everything's new I still got to order the tie rod ends and stuff like that but since this is done I'll order those and I can do them you know, later on I still got a lot of work to do on the car but it'd be nice to get the suspension done and then also get the engine ready to fire up that way the car is mobile again all right so everything is all back together torqued down got all the carter pins in everything has been greased I did spray the rotor yeah there is some overspray but that'll come off you know when you put the brakes on the next thing I do have to order is these tie rod ends they're shot I should order them but I forgot to so order these up replace those um, but everything else has been replaced you need to clean up the sway bar but I do need to find my other links to see if those ones will work and then what I'll do is I'll pull the whole sway bar out that way I can clean that thing up really nice it's kind of hard to do with it in the car but it's really it everything else is all done like I said it's been greased torqued so the front end on the Mustang is almost all the way complete beside the tie rod ends which that's really no big deal and then once the car is finished and completed all the way we'll take it to the alignment shop and get this thing aligned so the next video you guys will see on the 69 Mustang is me cutting out the floor pans and replacing them with the new ones I got and also replacing the seat mounting brackets so I got all the stuff in to start cutting the floor out so that's the next thing that you're gonna see on the 69 Mustang so make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button also the notification bell that way you guys can stay notified on the next video coming out with the 69 Mustang also the other cars here at the shop thanks for watching everybody until next time later